Okay, I'm going to try and do this quickly before the sun goes down. Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you some of the goodies I got on my weekend trip to Vermont. <music> In a shocking twist, some of this is Christmas related and not fall related, but I couldn't resist picking up a couple of goodies on my drive through New Hampshire and into Vermont. I had the prettiest day in Western Vermont. I stayed in a an Airbnb that was built in the 1700s and I have a whole video on that trip if you want to see more and get your fall on. I'll link it below and also up here in whichever corner. Um, but let's get into showing you what I picked up. So my first stop off the road was at a Christmas shop in New Hampshire and they literally had a sign that said um you have to try our pumpkin fudge so I turned my car around to go into this Christmas store I did get some fudge it was delicious but I'll show you some of the things that I got that were not edible um the first thing I picked up is this mask for Christmas it's got like a really cute Christmas pattern I haven't really decided if I'm going to do any Mrs. Claus stuff this year or maybe do like some digital storytelling videos, whatever. But either way, it'll be fun to have a Christmas mask. And then the other thing I picked up from that little shop is a cute little metal ornament. And it says New Hampshire. It's a little like tartan plaid bear with a red bow. And that's adorable I cannot wait for Christmas I'm fully planning to go pick up my own Christmas tree a live fresh one and I can't wait I can't wait to share it with you so okay next up I stopped for dinner in Vermont I'm not even I can't really remember the town but before I ate dinner I stopped off in a bookstore next to the restaurant um, because I really wanted to get some books for the trip and it's been a while since I've read a physical book so I had fun browsing and just kind of picking up some new um, you know just kind of different things to enjoy and read for pleasure usually I'm a really big like self-help um, self-improvement book reader but I wanted to pick up something completely different just to really enjoy so here's what I got the first book I've got that I've already been um, that I've started and read the most of is men explain things to me by Rebecca Solnit if I'm gonna be completely honest the content is a little bit um, depressing <laughs> It, it has funny moments so far, but it's kind of a collection of essays and articles based kind of around this topic. So um, it's it's a good like kind of empowering read. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's not, I wouldn't call it a feel good. I would call it more of like reality based. And in my book here, I did sneak some dried leaves um, from Vermont. So I pressed them and I think they'll make a really pretty frame or something. Okay, next book is called Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. I'm not going to lie, I completely bought this for the cover. It is so pretty, but it's a fiction book. Um, and so far, it's been really interesting and enjoyable. I've read a couple of chapters, and I'm excited to keep going. So, But just look how pretty that is. So pretty. And the last book I bought, completely an impulse buy, honestly... I probably shouldn't have bought it, but I saw it and I was like, man, I've been having so much fun with homemaking and making my apartment my own that I picked up the Reese Witherspoon book, Whiskey in a Teacup. It's got recipes. It's kind of cute, like Southern living. And even though I literally don't live in the South anymore, I do feel like I still very much identify with being a Southerner. Um, so I'm excited to kind of maybe try some things out of here too. Plus it has a pink spine. Okay, last up, I'm going to show you the things that I got from the Vermont Country Store. So like I said, I stayed in the town of Weston, Vermont, and it has one of the original Vermont Country Stores. It was huge. It was beautiful. So many cool things to, to look at and find from decorations to home goods to vintage products to a whole wall of maple syrup. It was unbelievable. I had so much fun. I wish I had had more money because I would have bought more stuff, but maybe it's good that I was on a budget and trying to not spend my rent but so here's the little bag Vermont country store so cute 
So based on a dear friend's recommendation, she used to live in Connecticut, she lives in California now, but I was told that I had to get maple syrup, so I picked up two of these little like amber um, leaf bottles of maple syrup, um, one for me and one to send to someone special. Next up, since I got a Christmas ornament from New Hampshire, I had to get one from Vermont to, to commemorate the trip, so I got this really adorable little house. It is the, um, it is the country store, like that is the front, that's what the front of the store looks like. And it's also a, um, a little box, so it has a little snap closure. There we go. So it has a little snap closure. I don't know if I'll put anything in there, um, but I just loved it so, so much. So cute. Focus. I really want to do kind of a warm, cozy, not overly formal Christmas style this year to fit the apartment that I have and just kind of, you know, not putting a lot of pressure on it, not feeling like I'm going to be really fancy, but just cozy and inviting and warm and interesting and fun to look at and little like pockets of Christmas magic scattered around the house. So that's what I'm going for. I grabbed a little a little sweet treat from the country store as well. I couldn't resist their little like Sunday truffles. Um, and they have like a little jelly bean on top for the cherry. So excited to try those. And then last up from the country store and from my trip, the most exciting thing, I saw these and I knew I had to get them. I could not resist. I picked up some kind of old school... It's Christmas wrapping paper, but they come in the sheets, so I'm not gonna use them to wrap presents because then they're gone and I don't get to enjoy them anymore, so they might turn into prints or frames or whatever, I'm not really sure yet, but I picked up two Christmas patterns, um, but this one has kind of like a vintage kind of Christmas advertising motif going on with Santa and the adorable little lights and just all the products you could have gotten back in the 40s and 50s. So charming, so adorable, love that. And then the second one is my favorite um, because it has a little hint of pink. I do wanna bring in a little bit of pink into my Christmas this year, like pink, red, green, maybe a hint of blue or yellow, I don't really know yet, but look how adorable this paper is. I am completely obsessed. Like, look at that little pink church. So cute, so Vermont. The little Merry Christmas pattern. So I could never wrap a present in that because I would be heartbroken if I saw it get ripped. And I love, if I'm gonna give someone a present, like I want them to rip it open. I, I do put care and time into how I wrap boxes, but at the end of the day, I do want the receiver to rip it open and be excited to open it. Um, and it would break my heart if they ripped this open. So this is gonna become part of the Christmas decor, but once I saw it, I just couldn't resist. All right, you guys, that's everything I got on my trip. Not too much, hopefully just enough to remember it fondly and to have these memories around my home to, to enjoy. Um, but if you have any questions, Feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe. I'm really hoping that I can go back to Vermont for a winter trip when it's snowing and, um, and that would be so magical to take you guys along on. So make sure you stick around. If you want more day in the life behind the scenes fun stuff, you can follow me over on Instagram or on TikTok at ColorfulMegan and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.